Hey guys, I'm gonna show you my little mini power station here. You can see that the installs come out pretty well. I use this thing all summer to keep an RV charged up, so it's 200 watts. There's two 100 watt panels and they're both wired in parallel. And we're able to bring down on a PWM controller, just one of those cheapos. I think uh, you've probably seen it in one of the other videos, but we're able to bring in about seven amps an hour in on a sunny day like this. But if you take a look, there's not much to it, just a box. These are about 120 bucks a piece. And in there's your controller, and there's an MC4 uh, inline fuse set up there and an XT60 connector, but you know, all in all, without the batteries, you're under four or $500, four or $500 range, I guess. So under 500 for everything. And then whatever kind of batteries you put on a setup like this. But it's really nice because I'll be able to run some lights and then obviously keep my batteries off the street, off the RV and keep them charged. And then be able to use this in case I need it. I'll do a future video and see if we can, how long we can run a refrigerator off of this setup. But it's a really nice little setup. I can wheel it over to a shed or an outhouse and power up the lights and the pumps and obviously any kind of trailer. And it just works. You know, this set out in the blistering heat where it got up over 100 and it's been fine, no issues there. And it also, was used clear down into I don't know I had it on the mountain and it got the lowest I've had it up there is in the 20s I imagine it could go go lower than that and it still kept the the trailer or the RV charged so in the summertime I actually have the batteries on the trailer and this that's what this extra cable is here so that I can park the RV in the shade and then wheel this out you know 15 feet out into the sun and be able to get some energy and it's even though they're hard tires you can still wheel it on some pretty bumpy surface you end up kind of dragging it but better than having tires that need to be pumped up and you know the way things are going you know maybe biden will keep sending out checks and we'll be able to buy more stuff with it that will help sustain our life if they're gonna talk about shutting down gas lines and all kinds of crap at least you know, you've got the ability to make a little bit of electricity and cover some simple basic needs. Anyways, I'm going to do a lot more with this and show you how you can actually practically use it versus just, hey, here it is. And the only other thing I'm going to add to it is put a two-pole disconnect, I think, over on this side. So if you want to see more, just uh, be patient. I'll get some videos out over time. Thanks for watching.